as well as fathers, good fathers only. Amen. So at this time, I'm going to uh, relinquish the floor. And uh, please help me and uh, welcome uh, Brother Calvin Mann. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I uh, don't want to take up too much time because I'm going to go, so I'm going to get right to it. For, uh, you know, uh, encourage me, I'm young. We started by land church with kids were getting killed in 2004, 2007. We were given our nonprofit by a parent. And uh, today, uh, we are active. This is our 10th year in problem solving. Um, right. We uh, have never had a grant or a loan. And we All right have now. Mentored easily men and boys in the 1600 bodies. Um, at one point, he had 350 males on the east side with not one moment of violence or disrespect. Amen. Right. And from that, we view that as uh, really putting our hands to the plow. Right now, we're looking for boys 12 to 14. We'll even take them to 11. Uh, if they never played basketball, some basketball, been cut, we want them because uh, 30 years of coaching high school basketball, I know that you know we can change their lives. Our method is we use the ball, we don't let the ball use us, so we teach our young men how to lead. We also have a mentoring program for boys eight to 14 where we teach them how to lead. It's called ME Future Leaders. They get to sell our product and fundraise their own scholarship. Right. Um, being invited by Doc is, is really, you know, it was, uh, I couldn't say no. You know, I'm a barber, I left the barber chair uh, to come, and I couldn't say no. Of course, Mark and, and Pastor, they wasn't, Pastor George, they wasn't gonna let me say no. Um, Mark came to the, right to the shop to make sure that I had got the message from Doc. Uh, these are men that I work with. When I worked at Northwest Airlines, I helped many families. All right. Thank you, Lord. Uh, to the fact that in 2006, I lost that job. The uh, union rep didn't file the second step, and so I was off the clock. Mm -hmm. But I was in purpose. Amen. All right. And so because I was in purpose, I guess that was God's way of telling me to continue. Today, I'm an author of a book called Just Ask. It's a 40-day journal to help others find their purpose. All right. Uh, I am Calvin Mann, son of Reverend Columbus and Ollie Bell Mann. My parents wrote and gave the world a oh, happy day. So therefore in me is greatness, God's greatness. Thank you, Lord. I uh, follow this legacy to the tune. Uh, my mom used to help prostitutes off the streets. So I, I really get where God has and is in my life. When I asked, I didn't know. Um, it was a lot of painstaking days, a lot of them. And as a man, I, I, I began to look around and I noticed, even as a young man when I was kicked out of college, that the message that was coming from men was not one in which I liked. Um, so I got into coaching and I came full circle, but in 2008, I started Good Fathers Only with just a t-shirt, same way we started encouraged me, I'm young. I didn't have no idea what God was doing, so I just stayed on the path. And today we have 18 businesses working together in our Good Fathers Only group. And we have men mentoring, and we have a eight year run on a Father's Day walk in the Labor Day Parade celebrating fatherhood. Um, fatherhood, ladies and gentlemen, and men, for you that don't know, uh, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, as they say, we are the answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why I say we are the answer is because we was the problem. Mm -hmm. Come on. And, and the, the bottom line is, is if today, if you as a man cannot see where we have let down 
generation upon generation. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter who you are. And I can honestly tell you that as people, all people, everything that's wrong with the children today, we all had a hand in the play. If we choose to call our children and boys and girls the N-word, we participated. Come on now. If we choose to not teach a young man, young girl, how to read before they're the age of five, we've participated. Uh -huh. If we decided to just constantly push uh, the antics of racism and the antics of colorism, the light skin, dark skin thing, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. And, you know, if we constantly push those things mm -hmm. and then we push disrespect, mm -hmm. we participated. Mm -hmm. If we took one bogus contract, if I took $2 more than what I was supposed to take, I participated yeah. All in right. what we see today. Yeah. If I did not apply nor give or help a child on my street, on my block, we participated. Um, I explain this as the village is not dead or sleep. The village is just in other areas. And part of the problem is, is because the village, I can point out to you how the village is alive. I'm standing in the church. There is men. The village is alive. Mm -hmm. Is the village working? Are we working? Are we preparing? Are we teaching? Are we guiding? One of the things that we talk about in the Good Fathers Only group, and most definitely I am here to recruit, just so you know. I'm looking for men. I, I'm not here to uh, play with you. I mean, I know how we can be. You know, I was just talking to a young man in the barbershop. We was having this conversation, and the conversation was about listening to men in the barbershop tell this young man how he's too young to get married, so your wild oats. Right? And so... Of course, everything comes back to me in the barbershop. And so I'm just listening. And so they turned to me and said, well, Carol, what's your opinion? I said, my own son, who's 28 years old, says to me, if you find God, you create a more mature us. All right. That's immaturity. That's the message that we passed on for years. I never passed that on to a kid after I got kicked out of college. I never told a kid his job is to go to college and just to be with girls. Mm -hmm. I mean, for real, if we really just take a look at uh, the real, the player mentality, those types of things, as men, we all participated, so we're part of the plight, right? So if you uh, saw a young man and his pants was hanging down, really, the person you should be judging is yourself because you didn't participate. You, yourself, was part of the problem. If we, uh, women, we're not exempt because if we keep the father away from the child, <laughs> we participate. Mm -hmm. When you go look at the statistics about fatherhood, fatherhood is the one thing that is connected to every problem that we see from rape, murder, suicide, violence. Uh, suicide, if you don't know, kids under the age 11 is committing suicide at an alarming rate, and it's African-American children who lead it just for those who want to throw in the color barrier thing. You know, Me, personally, uh, I don't participate. I can't. You know, where I come from, kings ran many lands, so anybody talking king stuff know that they ran many lands. As a matter of fact, the Greeks called Africa, they gave the name Africa to Africa. So that's just my little perspective on that. So that's why I don't play the whole racism game and I don't use it as an excuse or anything like that. I think by everybody being involved, if we all put our hands to the plow, everything changes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That means we're moving in one motion. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so with the men, I'll make it quick. Numbers 30, verse 2, if you didn't know, it says, and number 30 is verse 2, this is for the men. Um, where are we say if a man makes a vow to the Lord or swears an oath to bind himself by some agreement he shall not break his word he shall do according to all that proceeded out his mouth when we started Good Fathers Only my brother sent me a text one day I had never in all the years of my life I've been in church 
for years upon years, and I know cliches when I hear them and everything else, and I never had heard that verse spoken, preached, or talked about. And so I took it and we applied it. So our men before uh, every Good Fathers Only meeting, we read Numbers 30, verse 2. That's what we are about. Everything that comes out of my mouth, I am living and doing. From mentoring to helping fathers, 